WFYI podcast brought to you by Bloomington, Indiana, an American college town offering food and drink, college sports, outdoor activities, live music, cool art, and good times daily. Everyone is welcome in Bloomington. More information at visitbloomington.com. WFYI podcast brought to you by 45, presenting 30 years of music by the Mavericks on Saturday, August 17th at Rock the Ruins at Holiday Park. Ticket information at rocktheruins.com. We're going to take a trip right now. Like we always do about this time. This is a journey into sound. Break it down. I'm Kyle Long, and you're listening to Cultural Manifesto. On this week's show, I'll speak with the Indianapolis jazz musicians, Rob Dixon and Richard Sleepy Floyd. We'll preview tracks off their upcoming release from the 317. The album features guest appearances from a wide range of Indianapolis musicians, including Rusty Redenbacher, Josh Kaufman, Steve Weekly, Charlie Ballantyne, Maxi, and more. From the 317 is an ongoing project that seeks to document and export the Indianapolis sound. The concept of it was to do recordings with all these great musicians here in Indianapolis and get it out to the rest of the world. Saxophonist Rob Dixon is a familiar name to most Indianapolis music fans. He's been called the musical mayor of Indianapolis, a reference to his prominent role in the local music scene. Dixon has worked with many jazz luminaries, including Illinois Jaquette, Mike Clark, and Charlie Hunter. Drummer Richard Sleepy Floyd is a respected veteran of the Indianapolis music scene. He's best known for his work with Native Son, a group that fuses jazz music with hip hop. Let's join my conversation with Rob Dixon and Sleepy Floyd. Rob and Sleepy, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You have a new project titled From the 317. This is a band, and it's an album. Rob, I believe you called it a caravan of Indianapolis culture. Hey. Uh, mm-hmm. Just to start out with, tell us what is from the 317. Is it a band, <laughs> officially a band? <laughs> well, it's a band, but more just a movement, you know, that we got together. I mean, and myself and Richard Floyd are kind of like heading the movement. There's a band that has been created, as well as a lot of musicians in the Indianapolis community that we feature on original music. The the concept of it was to do recordings with all these great musicians here in Indianapolis and get it out to the rest of the world, you know, do a national publicity campaign, try to get it out on the radio everywhere and other parts of the, the world, you know, to say, hey, this is Indianapolis. So that's kind of the impetus of, like, what, what why we started this project, so... Sleepy, give us your yeah. take on From the 317. Basically what Rob said, um, in addition to, uh, you know, all of the, you know, the, 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 the plays for publicity and, and exposure um, that we, we hope to attain with this, it was mainly um, an effort to just bring the community together, like the music musicians community together, and just have a representation of the city's best and, and what we do and just create something original with the with the gifted people that we have, you know, at our disposal here in the community. You know, a lot of them are friends. A lot of them are people that we've played with. We play with constantly, have for years. And then there's others that are up and coming that we wanted to collaborate with and just never really had the opportunity to. But this this was that moment, you know, where we could, um, you know, pick and just bring people into the studio, create you know, create some magic together and uh, and then just do it all for the city. And so, you know, in addition to the, the, the radio publicity and, and the, the PR that we're going for, we're also going to hit the road with this and, uh, you know, do some touring 
and uh, really just and do the whole thing over again. <laughs> you know, Rob, is that the plan? I think that's the plan. Yeah, it's like <laughs> completely to be continued that's kind right. of project and endeavor. Before I ask you about some of the individual musicians who have contributed to this project, I had a yeah. personal question for both of you. Both of you grew up outside of Indianapolis. Rob, yeah. you're from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Sleepy, you grew up in Kokomo. You also both tour and perform extensively outside of Indianapolis. Yeah. I'm curious what it is about the city and the music scene here that keeps you rooted here when clearly you have the opportunity to exist outside of Indianapolis. What's so special about what we have here that keeps you rooted to the city? I think it's the music and the legacy and the scene, the people. It's amazing. I mean, I guess when you grew up here, probably people don't realize how how great a music town Indianapolis is and what it's meant to the world. I've been here for a good part of over 20-some years now, um, 25, 26 years. I mean, I I was in New York for a time. Yeah, I think this is like one of the best music cities, and it's so unrecognized, you know. I mean, I go to places all over like Nashville and Austin and Denver and Portland and L.A. and Detroit, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, we got the music town. I'm like, I think that um, Indianapolis is a really um, unrecognized gem that the world has that and people just need to know about it. So that's what inspires me to, to create the music and, and, and do what we do. Yeah, I'd say the same thing uh, for me. It's to like, you know, being out on the road like Rob and, you know, going to other places. I get asked all the time, like, man, where are you from? It's like, I'm from Indianapolis. They're like, what? You know, it just, you know, they still have, we still get those answers to this day. And so I won't feel satisfied until we don't, I don't get that reaction when I'm out on the road elsewhere. And so that's also the challenge here at home is just, you know, like we've, we're in too deep now, me and Rob, you know, in terms of like just advocating and, and curating and, and just, you know, trying to push this scene forward. So I still feel like there's some work to be done. Um, and so that's why I'm here. And then also it's, it means a lot to collaborate with your friends and just seeing the progression of a scene, you know, having playing, having been playing in, in several different bands here in the city, you know, it's just been fun to just be a part of that natural progression where my band Native Son and Premium Blend with Jarrett Thompson and uh, with Rob, you know, playing with Rob for almost 20 years, you know, it's like, you know, just seeing these things really mature like from the 317 is really like a culmination it's been like a it's a long time coming if you will um for our city to have something collaborative where we're not all just kind of in our own corners of the of the of the city but we you know we centralize on something and i think we're on the precipice of something really great and really big here in the art community in the artistic in the music musician community you know what i'm saying um i think we're on the cusp of something great The record covers a lot of sounds and styles from hip-hop to blues to jazz and soul. Were there specific elements of the music scene here or the Indianapolis sound that you wanted to capture when you started out this process of forming this band and conceptualizing from the 317? For me, it was just like intermingling like what we call the OGs or just like the legends in the city Mm -hmm. that may not have gotten... You know, the pub and the praise that they deserve or the opportunity to record and like be on a nationally released project. You know, uh, Steve Weekly comes to mind right away. You know, like he's literally one of the, the last pioneers, you know, around. So it was important for me. And then I know it was important for Rob as well to just get him in the studio, get him on something. And I know we have plans to to continue that work with with others that we've that we've used in the recording. So for me, it's the legacy piece along with the the creation of, mm-hmm. of, of new music that to, to and using those leg- legacy pieces to create new music, you know, and that's kind of how we bridged it. But other than that, man, it was really <laughs> just, you know, me and Rob in the studio conceptualizing, just going with a vibe and a feeling, you mm-hmm. know, I don't think anything was calculated so much, right. you know what I'm saying? It was just like, look, what are we feeling today, mm-hmm. you know? There's a lot of guest artists on this record, but yes. tell us who the core sort of foundation members of from mm-hmm. the 317 are. You want to do it? Obviously, you're on sax, Rob. <laughs> Sleepy, you're on drums. <laughs> I think, Start there. <laughs> I think that is like on every track. Yeah, yeah. Just about. I'm not on a couple of tracks. Sleepy's on every track. 
I'm almost on every track. Um, we used, but you know, then you know, we used different bass players. Uh, Brandon Meeks, of course. He's he's a longtime homie. Um, Jonathan Wood, the great. You know, he's amazing. Um, Will Rob. Will Will yeah Willie Robinson Will Rob um, AJ AJ Jones on bass on guitar Charlie Ballantyne was on most of it um, Dave Donahoe was on a track on keyboards it was mostly Reggie Bishop and some Stephen Jones and um, Sean McGowan yep it was Andy Green Andy Greenwell Andy Greenwell mm-hmm. was on a track and a couple of tracks so yeah it was. Trumpet, Marlon McKay. Derek Gardner. So we've had a lot of different musicians. I want to go ahead and share a track from the album. I want to play the title track from the 317, which features Maxi, a rapper and entrepreneur from Indianapolis known for his store and clothing line, Nap or Nothing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this track and why you wanted to uh, include Maxi on this record. You know, it was just like, again, another intentional move to incorporate some of the most important cats in the scene mm-hmm. you know maxi is, is that guy you know um you know as, especially as an entrepreneur as well you know he showed up didn't have his written you know he didn't he hadn't heard the track he went and listened to the track wrote his lyrics down got in the, got in the studio got in the booth and laid it down and bounced out <laughs> yep you know yeah. I, and i think in my mind i wanted to have a, a, a song about indianapolis so I I thought who better than Maxie to talk about Indianapolis, you know, and just like pub up Indianapolis. I was like, it's gotta be just about Indianapolis. He's like, What? What specifically? I was like, I don't know. You come up with it. Just Indianapolis. I just yeah. you need to be like a, a a song about Indianapolis. And um you know, I think they uh both Maxie and Fox, Fox the Legend were did it so brilliantly because if you not once do they say the word Indianapolis, but it's all about Indianapolis. If you listen like to the lyrics, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this is, you know, I mean. So many metaphors. So like many that. metaphors and, uh, the, you know, talking about 317. And so I, I thought it was brilliant, the concept that they came up with. Yeah. Um, Let's listen. This is from the 317 featuring Maxie and Fox the Legend. Uh, no sleeping. Yeah, no sleeping. Hit the studio and drop some rhymes. Bobby here when I drop some lines. Pin and peg, got the young boy balling in the city like I'm Oscar Rob. But I didn't go to Christmas Addicts. Mr. Maxi still spitting fire, so I didn't have to go and get some matches. Missing Expo and I'm missing Classic. Did them jeans with the different patches. Local brands. So brought the bars out for Rob Dixon. Saw him making music with some local bands. I'm so excited for the live show. I'm known to put on a live show. Just rock Cleveland and Chicago. In my backyard doing shows in Neptune with my eyes closed. I'm Kyle Long. You're listening to Cultural Manifesto. We just heard from the 317, by from the 317, off the album, from the 317. And I'm here with the group's founders. Is that an accurate description? (laughs) Rob Dixon and Sleepy Floyd. Uh, Rob, you mentioned that you're trying to push this outside of Indianapolis, get airplay, publicity Mm -hmm. around the country or world. You're just now getting started in this initiative. But do you find people in places like New York and Los Angeles are receptive to giving Indianapolis a chance on the musical front? Are they interested in learning about what we have going on here? There's a little bit of a challenge of this record just because it's like so different multi genre but I think, you know, I think people are willing to listen uh, and are are kind of like awestruck when they hear like, oh, man, I didn't know Indianapolis did this. I didn't know uh, Babyface was from Indianapolis. I didn't know Wes Montgomery or Freddie Hubbard or J.J. Johnson. You know, they don't know a lot of things about Indianapolis. So but I want to say while, while I'm talking about getting the music out, um, it couldn't be done without the financial support of the executive producers of Indianapolis Jazz Foundation and also a grant that was uh, um, given to us by Alan White Hill Clues Charitable, Charitable Foundation. So there's that. I have to plug that. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Sleepy, any thoughts on that? Do you think uh, you're you, going to get a receptive audience outside of Indy? I believe so. You know, I, I think it's undeniably good to wear – the people will receive it. If you like good music, you're going to love this record, you know, regardless of the genre. And so what I hope to see is like we have as much response from nationally as we do locally, because 
you know, the love has already been there because we've, you know, we've let certain people hear some of the music, you know, and everybody's just like, wow, man, this is crazy. And you've <laughs> you been know? playing live here in the city, too, at the yeah. Jazz Fest and yes. select events. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Y- yeah. And to that point, I think people, I think it's really the music's going to create the kind of the momentum. And then the story behind it will be, hey, this is from Indianapolis, from Indianapolis musicians, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so we wanted to put, uh, you know, kind of... Um, metaphorically put our foot in it to make sure that it was like really something that people were like okay this is cool where's this what is this about you know mm-hmm. and then we can say hey this is indianapolis this is from the 317 check us out up next i'm going to play the track 41 which is an incredible instrumental with powerful work from you rob anything you want to say before we listen um for, yeah 41 is it's actually 41 41 excuse me no no that's cool it's uh, it looks like 441 um it's to the harmonic progression. It's the four chord to the one chord, and it's kind of like our interpretation. If you reduce the essence, like I think, if you reduce the, the essence of uh, American music is the, from comes from the blues, and if you um, take the uh, the essence of, uh, of the blues twelve bar blues progression, uh, you know, it's four one or one to four. And I thought it was well, so boiled down to the essence of like. Um, American music and culture for one, and then it can serve as a double entendre, all for one. So that's why we get like the title. So that's the explanation for that. Yeah. <laughs> and this Thank song you. is this song is a new classic from you know new Naptown classic man. Like literally every time we play, powerful, <laughs> we got to play this one. powerful piece, and yeah. people love it. You yeah. know, people love it. Yeah, you know, this is from the three one seven with four one. I'm Kyle Long, and you're listening to Cultural Manifesto. We just heard 4-1 by From the 317. I'm here with the group's founders, Rob Dixon and Sleepy Floyd. Uh, Up next, I want to play a vocal track from the album. We're going to hear Get to You, which is a very powerful piece. It almost reminds me of like what they used to call jungle or drum and bass music. It's like the rhythm is so up-tempo and uh, frenetic. Tell me about this piece, and who's the uh, vocalist on this track? Man, so the vocalist is Sarah Scarborough McLaughlin. Um, again, you know, one of Rob's one of Rob's calls, you know, as the CEO, you know, he's like, hey, we're getting Sarah in. I was like, cool, cool, cool. Now, what we conceptualized was definitely not something we had pre, you know, conceptualized for her, you know. But when she got in the studio, like, man, just it was just like seamless. She could she's a seasoned veteran pro um, and just brought amazing vibe to the track. Personally, it's my favorite track. And I think we only did maybe two takes, you know, like, you know, I think this is what you hear is the second take. And, uh, you know, I played that straight through, <laughs> you know, like there's no there's no chops, no edits. You know, it's it's like me through the whole track and at a frenetic pace. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what was kind of going on in your mind in terms of the drums? What did you Man, want to bring to that track? A cross between Afrobeat and hmm. drum and bass. Okay, so it was you know some intentional yeah, absolutely. drum and bass on that. That's amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I, I was like, you know, this tune could be like our electronic leaning hmm. track, you know what I mean? Which I have an electronic background and, uh, you know, it's one of my passions. And, and so Rob, Rob played a lot of the synth work, mm. a lot of the like the the background synth work you did. Reggie Bishop came in and played additional keys, but most of the keyboard work you hear is my man right here. And drum and bass has come back hard yeah, in the man, last right. couple of years. So yes, yeah, sir. you're right on time with this one. <laughs> big fan, yeah. big fan of drum and yeah. bass, man. Big fan of it. Yeah, it's a great track. Let's listen. This is from the three one seven with Get to You. Sailing in a sailboat. On the watchtower mm-hmm. Flying in a plane Above the clouds And the rain Or in a train Riding through the mountains And the countryside 
Cultural Manifesto will return after this short break. WFYI podcast brought to you by Bloomington, Indiana, an American college town offering food and drink, college sports, outdoor activities, live music, cool art, and good times daily. Everyone is welcome in Bloomington. More information at visitbloomington.com. I'm Kyle Long, and you're listening to Cultural Manifesto. My guests this week are Rob Dixon and Sleepy Floyd. We're here talking about their latest project from the 317. And up next, I want to play one of my favorite tracks off the album. It's called Time Missing You, and it has, like, very ethereal kind of guitar work in it. It's a very different track on the album. Uh, is that Charlie Ballantyne on guitar, or is that someone else? No, that's actually Jonathan Wood on that's bass. That's Jonathan Wood on bass? Yeah. yeah. Wow, he's amazing. So, <laughs> he's we, incredible. We, yeah, I think we were playing at the Chatterbox the night before we went in the studio, and he was kind of messing around playing bass and some chords. And mm. I was like, man, well, that sounds cool. So the next day when we got in the studio, I was like, man, the thing you were doing on stage, I was like, last night, and when he's like, what? And he's like, when I was messing around, I was like, yeah, okay, Play this chord and this chord. Do what you did. Do the kind of chordal thing and play the bass. And so he came up with this this um, palette, and I think m- the melody just kind of came out when we just went in mm-hmm. and just did it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, okay, he laid his thing down, uh, um, the bass, and then we just kind of went and yeah. and did it. And then the melody just, I mean, just kind of, uh, I was kind of hearing it, and then it was like, and then it after one take, I was like, okay, we got it. So um, that was definitely a kind of an in-studio creation. Yep. It definitely spoke to the to the whole vibe of the whole session. I mean, for the year plus that we've been working on this project, it was just that tune just came out of nowhere, you know, right. it was just out of creativity, you know. At first it started kind of like a lo-fi vibe, you know, and then, you know, when Rob added the melody, I kind of shifted what I was trying to do on it. But, yeah, again, one of my favorite records, I mean, it's, uh, records on the on the project as well. Yeah, I love to hear that that's Jonathan Wood that created right. that. And for folks that don't know, legendary bassist here in Indianapolis, Something. played right. with Brother Jack McDuff, mm-hmm. Tina Marie, right. also played on Billy Wooten's classic In This World album. He played on Jimmy the cut Smith. Chicago. Yeah, a right. legendary Indianapolis jazz musician here who often doesn't get the praise he deserves. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's definitely one of our one of our best and one of our pillars for sure. And he's always yeah, and he's always doing big things mm-hmm. like nationally. And you don't mm-hmm. even hear about it. You're like, what? You're out with Kurt Whalen, <laughs> right? Because it's his quiet demeanor. Yeah, you know, exactly. what I mean? and, you know. That's why I tell everybody, you know, hey, Jonathan won't tell you what he's doing, but he'll tell you what he's doing if you talk to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, Let's listen to that track. This is from the three one seven with time missing you. I'm Kyle Long. You're listening to Cultural Manifesto. We just heard Time Missing You from from the 317. I'm here with the group's founders, Rob Dixon and Sleepy Floyd. I've been picking out all the tracks so far. Is there a track that either of you want to share? Or I'll give you both. <laughs> we'll, we'll take turns. <laughs> Sleepy, okay. let's start with you. Is there a track you want to share off the record oh, that see. I haven't played yet? Let's see here. Oh, Fresh Air. Yeah. You know, great we talked about, yeah, yeah. We talk about the great Steve Weekly, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's featured on that track. This is one of the, one of Rob's first tunes that he conceptualized for the project. Yeah, so I would say Fresh Air. Fresh Air is about kind of we're paying homage to Wes Montgomery, mm. yep, who's right. kind of the father of instrumental pop and the records that he created at, uh, at A and M. The, the for, first thing I thought when I listened to that track was CTI Records. Right, yeah, and that comes across so well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were thinking like, man, we'll just create a track that's kind of like a, you know, an earworm, like instrumental pop tune that like, kind of you know, um, the thing that West was kind of setting the foundation for, mm-hmm. like people like Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass and Grover Washington and 
Chuck Mangione. He kind of laid the foundation for all those guys. Uh, and we thought it would be very appropriate to have uh, the one and only Steve Weekly play on it. So that's kind of where that came from. So fresh air, dedication to West Montgomery featuring Steve Weekly. And, you know, when we, we had Steve down at the studio, we made sure we invited Robert Montgomery to, you know, be a part of it because, you know, it's his, his, uh, his family. So. Um, he was yeah. there for the session. Just he was there for the session. Hanging. Yeah. And yeah. we have, yeah, I was like, we got to get this on film. So I think, uh, uh, who came, uh, who, Ben, yeah. Ben, Ben Rose, Ben Rose came in mm-hmm. a video, the, the, that session. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And That's Steve great. weekly, a legendary guitarist in his own right, was part of funk incorporated and helped pioneer like soul jazz and funky jazz music on prestige. Yeah. Records oh yeah, absolutely. A, a total legend and brilliant guitar player. Very yeah, underrated. Definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. Let's listen to Fresh Air by From the Kyle Long, and you're listening to Cultural Manifesto. We just heard Fresh Air by From the 317, featuring the great, legendary Indianapolis guitar player Steve Weekly. And Robin Sleepy, you told me that you want to take this on the road. You're going to tour with this project. Tell me about some of the plans you have in the works to get this music outside of Indianapolis. And uh, yeah. You know, the biggest thing is it's going to be. The touring, um, you know, the record the record will be well distributed and it'll reach a lot of people. But you know, in or, you know, we got to be evangelists out here, and that's the best way is just to to get out and go to the cities and and play this music for the masses because that that it will ensure its success at that point. So. Yeah, and I think to add to uh, what Slippy was saying, we put some thought into like how we market it as well. Um, so we have multiple different ways we're going to get the message out. Um, we want to put it on T-shirts. We want to put it on, you know, yeah. just have a brand and then take a band out and, you know, have merch and a brand and just kind of pub the city and what, what all the great things that are happening here. Yeah, and it's not a one-off situation. That's the best part. Right. It's like we have a – we have a – of uh, you know formula that, that's going to be continually worked, and you know what we're seeing with thanks to like places like the Chatterbox and the Mousetrap, where we're able to be there weekly, and you know impact and have incorporate a lot of musicians that drive from Ball State and IU on a weekday <laughs> to come and play and sit in. We're going to just going to continue that growth and development with those elements, and then you know again repeat the same thing, pull some of those cats into the studio, you know, work on the project, release it. You know, maybe have them do the tour, you know. And so then we create a system and a and, and a community and where touring is not a problem here. Mm-hmm. And I've identified as touring, touring is a problem here. You know, there's not enough artists that get out on the road and just go play, you know. And, and until we don't do until we do that uniformly in this city, we will continue to have these conversations about recognition as Indianapolis being a music city. It's not so much all of what we do here. It's what we do elsewhere, too, and spreading the message of what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. Sleepy and Rob, congratulations on this record. I love the concept, and the music is fantastic. Any final thoughts you want to share that I didn't uh, ask you about? I just want to thank Rob, man, for just being the leader that he is, oh. um, you know, leading this scene. There's no other leader in this in this music community. Get it? You can hear this on, on, on record right now. Rob Dixon is the musical mayor of the city. Period. <laughs> yeah, and I'm be so appreciative of him. Yeah, he's my new publicist. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm you all. I'm, that's me all day, man. I'm your Don King, bro. <laughs> no, but you know, Sleepy, I, and I think everybody knows what, how how valuable Sleepy is as a producer and a musician. And man, he just made this. Thanks. He made this project like really cool and happening, and yeah, made it made it right. You know, and pointed me in the right direction when I started going down the hall. I was like, "What about this?" He's like, "No, nah, bro." <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because we, you know, sometimes in your creative head, you can just go places. Oh, yeah, like, it makes sense in your head yeah, all the time. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, but w- what I wanted to s- uh, uh, follow up and say is actually we we are putting out maybe a twelve or thirteen tracks, and I think mm-hmm. we've recorded over thirty wow. some tracks. So there are a lot of artists that um, will be on the second record, which is the name of the album is Deluxe. Mm-hmm. And so Deluxe 2 will feature a whole Man. other cast of um, great musicians. And and then, you know, we're in the process of creating a Deluxe 3. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely a lot, still a lot to come. So, yeah. Yeah. So Final. We'll, have, we'll have us in for Deluxe 2. Absolutely. Because it's a whole different a whole different direction on the on the project. That's what mm-hmm. I'm most excited about, too, is like knowing we have something in the can. <laughs> right. That's totally different, you know. Final track, maybe um, limelight mm. because that's kind of uh, one of the pop tunes, actually pop pop tunes that we have on the the record. And this this features uh, Josh Kaufman. Mm. That's who it is on vocals. Okay, I didn't yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, yeah man. He, so, another one that came in and just yeah. killed it. <laughs> he killed it, and um, I think it's a great tune. I think it's catchy. Yeah, Slippy yeah. played amazing on it. It reminded me like of an 80s, kind of early 80s soul cut yeah, by like Zap right. or Prince, yeah, something right. like that. Yeah, yeah. That was the vibe, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, a lot of people say it's skating room. I mean, skating rink type of vibe slash, right. you know. Definitely. Line and, dance party, you know, vibe. But, yeah. And remind folks who Josh Kaufman is. He won The Voice. He won The Voice in yeah. season six. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. And, uh who is his his coach? It was uh, Usher. Usher, right? Wow. <laughs> Usher was his coach, and before that was Adam Levine. Adam Levine, Adam mm-hmm. Levine and then Adam. If you watch the show, uh, cut him, and then Usher picked him up. Rob and, and Sleepy, thank you for being here, and yeah, good luck you, on this project. I hope it blows up for you guys. My yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, Kyle. You the man. Standing in the spot. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you to my guests, Rob Dixon and Richard Sleepy Floyd. Check out the Cultural Manifesto podcast at WFYI.org or wherever you listen to podcasts. Cultural Manifesto is hosted and produced by me, Kyle Long. Thank you for listening.